Now we come to the types of solids. <coughs> types of solids. There is a macro view that we normally have. We can say the solids are maybe metals and non-metals, right. But that is not we are talking about here. We are going to the level of the atoms and molecules and based on that we are trying to differentiate the solids, okay. So there are basically two kinds of solids, okay. There are basically two kinds of solid. One of them is called amorphous. So it is amorphous and the other is crystalline. Okay. Now these are Greek words. Amorphous. Morphos means okay. Morphos means uh, means no. Morphos means form. A means no. Morphos is form. No form. Okay. Metamorphic rock. We had a study. Hmm? What does it mean? the rocks that got converted due to pressure and heat from something to something. So there also the form, the form was getting changed. So, so crystalline and then crystalline, okay. This has come from crystal, the word has come from crystal. So there are amorphous solids and there are crystalline solids. Actually, the based on their arrangement, howsoever the molecules are arranged, their properties start getting different and you will find some startling things. So this is what? Now amorphous solids, say like glass, it is not to say that they simply do not have any form, okay. But the form, the regularity of repetition that that continues for a very very small distance okay so so the amorphous solids so the amorphous solids so the amorphous solid has has a small range regularity while this has long range regularity. In long range they are they are irregular. They are irregular in the long range while they are they are regular. Now this leads to a host of properties which which is understood when we understand why this is happening. Now the second thing is that what happens? There is no long range order here. There is a long range order. Hmm? Now what do you expect to happen? Here say, say suppose we are like this, we are like this and in between suppose I have these green dots, let us say. Now what happens, you pick up a sharp object and cut it, let us say cut it like this, 
what happens you are cutting all the blue dots you are cutting all the blue dots or you cut it like that. So, we are cutting alternate blue and green dots or I cut it like that I am cutting the green dot. So, what happens? its properties along different directions differ ok its properties will be different in different directions while if it is a it is an absolute random kind of thing if it is an absolute random kind of thing as it happens in an amorphous so there is blue and there is red and there is green so many dots whatever way you cut you are likely to encounter as many blue green and red dots in this direction as you will encounter in this or you will encounter in this or you will encounter in this you understand so the properties of an amorphous solid are isotropic ok it is isotropic in nature what does it mean properties are the same properties are the same in all the directions these are these are anisotropic in nature iso means same ok tropic means place so all places it is the same it is isotropic anisotropic anisotropic is like this so, the properties are not the same. So, so the tensile strength will not be the same in all the directions. Okay. Tensile strength will not be the same in all the directions. If you try to maybe break break from here, and if these bonds are weaker, then they will break faster. Okay. Okay. Fine. Now, due to this, what happens on being cut? they reveal an irregular surface they reveal an irregular cut surface while here on being cut they reveal a sharp regular straight surface see so if it breaks it is likely that this will propagate like this ok here it might not it might come here and it may start breaking in some other direction here it may say break like this while here it will break very smooth ok maybe maybe along this line then then there will be sharp cut ok also due to this they have a very sharp melting point very sharp melting point while what happens here it melts over a temperature range it melts over a temperature range
now these are said to be true solids but these are called super cooled liquids super cooled liquids why are they called liquids because the molecules are as random as they are in a liquid okay they are as randomly arranged so much so that in glass you can actually find that the glass if it is kept like that vertically for maybe 10 years then the bottom portion of the glass becomes thicker than the upper portion and there is likelihood of it getting broken so you'll find in buildings they'll be changing that glass no absolutely amorphous oh 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 wait 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 so extremely solid so this is these are true solids okay these are true solids and these are super cooled liquids they are super cooled liquids example glass example rubber because we have said if we start cooling the liquid it will eventually become frozen okay so this is a amorphous silicon amorphous silicon it is used a lot in photovoltaic cell used in photovoltaic cell photovoltaic cell okay huh? these differences may be asked so but you should understand it from here and not don't try to mug it up fine now so much so that glass panes have to be have to be have to be arranged upside down due to due to the bottom part becoming due to the bottom becoming thicker than the top so it has actually flowed like a liquid okay it is flowing like a liquid that's why you understand so it is it is flowing like the liquid it behaves like a liquid this also there are times you'll ask okay obviously uh, the shape is irregular that 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 comes and more so when we understand what crystals are so here our uh, shape is irregular okay the regular shape here the shape is regular why why regular shape any idea because they are composed of crystals which are composed of lattices right so small boxes maybe the cubical boxes being repeated over and over again all over the place fine so ultimately what happens even the part of the box is kind of regular here the here the 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 things come here here the the things are not arranged that regular so so it may take any shape any any vague shape right due to the irregularity in arrangement but everything that you see about the amorphous solids is due to the irregularity in their arrangement there's one thing that i'd like to highlight is that 
if if you understand what a crystalline solid is sometimes this property seems this should be isotropic and this should be anisotropic okay but it is reverse okay this is normally major confusion with children 